Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Trish Delish. Today is the final video of my special occasions and holiday cooking series. We'll be making a cake flan dessert. If you missed the videos for my appetizers and main course, the links for the videos will be down below in the description box, along with the recipes and instructions for this dessert. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your family and friends. If you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. You all know by now that I love a good shortcut and this dessert has two. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Coat a bun pan with softened butter and dust flour onto the butter layer. Make sure to get all surfaces coated so that the cake will release from the pan after baking. The first shortcut is to use store-bought cajeta, which is a caramel made with goat's milk. Pour the cajeta into the bottom of the pan, making sure not to get it onto the sides. Mix the eggs, evaporated milk, condensed milk, and vanilla to make the flan layer. A friend of mine shared with me this second tip. Use a box cake mix. Prepare the cake as directed on the box. I used a super moist white cake mix and only needed egg whites, oil, and water to prepare. You can use any flavor of cake that you like. Pour the flan mix into the pan on top of the caramel, then carefully layer the cake batter onto the flan layer. Place the bundt pan into a larger baking pan and set it in the preheated oven. Fill the large baking pan with boiling water about one inch up the side of the cake pan, then bake for one hour. After baking, allow the cake to cool on a rack for about five minutes before running a knife or skewer along the edges and center cone to release the cake from the pan. Turn the cake out onto a rimmed platter. You can use a spatula to scrape out any cajeta that sticks to the pan and then pour it onto the flan. Refrigerate overnight. When serving, garnish with additional cajeta if desired. This is a perfect ending to a wonderful meal and great served with coffee. If you enjoyed this video series for special occasions and holiday cooking, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. If you missed the first two videos in this series, the links for the appetizer and entree will be below in the description box. Thanks for watching and see you next time.